Now we're going to open a manipulation proof 8500 series lock from Sargent and Greenleaf. So what we've got to do is we have to dial the first number four times, the second number three times, and the third number twice. So what that means is we dial the first number four times anti-clockwise, stopping on the fourth time we arrive at that number, then three times clockwise, stopping the third time we arrive at that number, and then anti-clockwise twice, stopping the second time we arrive at the number. Now this lock has been programmed with the code 606060 for convenience. So when we're dialing anti-clockwise, which is the first uh, direction we dial in, we can pass 60 as many times as we like, as long as it's more than four, because it's the first number dialed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna stop at 60 now. I'll do this slowly so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm spot on 60. Now we need to go clockwise three times, stopping on the third time. So we're passing 60 once, we're passing 60 twice, and this is the third time. And there's 60. Now we go anti-clockwise twice, stopping on 60 the second time. So we're passing 60 once, and here's twice. Now, this is where an anti-manipulation lock is different to a regular combination lock. If this was a regular combination lock, we would turn the dial to the right and open. But with a manipulation proof lock, we need to dial clockwise back to zero, okay, and press the dial in. You hear that click? Now, you can open the lock. And to close the lock, we just spin the dial a few times.